Marie Curie quotes to inspire dreamers and motivate truth seekers. I am among those who think that science has great beauty. Radium is not to enrich anyone. It is an element, it is for all people. A scientist in his laboratory is not a mere technician, he is also a child confronting natural phenomena that impress him as though they were fairy tales. There are sadistic scientists who hurry to hunt down errors instead of establishing the truth. You can only analyze the data you have. Be strategic about what to gather and how to store it. Our society in which reigns an eager desire for riches and luxury, does not understand the value of science. It does not realize that science is a most precious part of its moral patrimony. We must not forget that when radium was discovered no one knew that it would prove useful in hospitals. The work was one of pure science. After all, science is essentially international, and it is only through lack of the historical sense that national qualities have been attributed to it. Scientific work must not be considered from the point of view of the direct usefulness of it. It must be done for itself, for the beauty of science, and then there is always the chance that a scientific discovery may become like the radium a benefit for mankind. When one studies strongly radioactive substances special precautions must be taken. Dust, the air of the room, and one's clothes, all become radioactive. Certain bodies become luminous when heated. Their luminosity disappears after some time, but the capacity of becoming luminous afresh through heat is restored to them by the action of a spark, and also by the action of radium. Humanity needs practical men, who get the most out of their work, and, without forgetting the general good, safeguard their own interests. Each of us must work for his own improvement and at the same time share a general responsibility for all humanity, our particular duty being to aid those to whom we think we can be most useful. Sometimes my courage fails me and I think I ought to stop working, live in the country and devote myself to gardening. But I am held by a thousand bonds, and I don't know when I shall be able to arrange things otherwise. Nor do I know whether, even by writing scientific books, I could live without the laboratory. Life is not easy for any of us. But what of that? We must have perseverance and, above all, confidence in ourselves. We must believe we are gifted for something and that this thing must be attained. Marie Curie Life is not easy for any of us. But what of that? We must have perseverance and, above all, confidence in ourselves. We must believe we are gifted for something and that this thing must be attained. I have no dress except the one I wear every day. If you are going to be kind enough to give me one, please let it be practical and dark so that I can put it on afterwards to go to the laboratory. Humanity needs practical men, who get the most out of their work, and, without forgetting the general good, safeguard their own interests. But humanity also needs dreamers, for whom the disinterested development of an enterprise is so captivating.